Hello and welcome back to our unit on weather. It's day 204 here. So our second day of notes. Our topic is the dew point and clouds. Okay, so today you'll know what the dew point is. Okay. You will know what a cloud is and how we classify them. Okay, so for your quick write, when you see dew on the grass, is it warm or cold out? What do you think? Does the dew on the grass last all day? Or does it seem to disappear throughout the day? What do you think? And then finally, what are some different cloud shapes you may have seen? How would you describe them? All right. So that is your quick write. Go ahead and pause this while you do your quick write. Okay, I'm going to move on. All right, the dew point. Remember, humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. Well, when warm, saturated, humid air comes in contact with cooler surfaces, it cools the air, and we get, as a result, condensation. Okay, so features such as grass, leaves, spider webs often contain dew. Even cold soft drinks, if you recall, often contain dew. That's because we're cooling the air and condensation is occurring. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the new at the dew point. You may have noticed dew on the grass early in the morning. How does this happen? Well, at night, the temperature drops. It gets cold, okay? And sometimes the temperature will fall down below a temperature known as the dew point. At the dew point, okay, temperature, fog, clouds, or dew form. So we get dew on grass so long as the temperature okay cools down below the dew point temperature if this happens you wake up with dew on your grass or fog in the morning okay so what is the dew point okay question on the left hand side of your notes answer on the right hand side use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on here. All right, clouds. Clouds are small collections of small water droplets, ice crystals that form through condensation or even freezing. Okay, Clouds can form either high in our atmosphere or even near the surface. Okay, So clouds are just made up of billions upon billions of little water droplets. Here's a cloud droplet. Okay, it's water, it's liquid water through condensation. Here's a rain droplet. So you can see okay, the different sizes for the comparison. So compared to rain droplet, clouds are small. Billions upon millions of droplets, uh, cloud droplets make up one cloud. Okay. So what is a cloud? Question on the left hand side, answer on the right hand side. Okay. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. I'm going to move on. Okay, cloud classification. Clouds are classified by their shape and altitude, how high up in the air they are, essentially. So the three basic cloud types are stratus, these low-lying sheet-like clouds. Okay, cumulus, they're slightly higher up, generally. And they have that fluffy kind of appearance, okay? And we have the cirrus, the ones really high up in the sky that look kind of wispy, right? All right, so stratus clouds, first one. Clouds with flat bottoms that are found close to the surface are stratus clouds. Stratus means sheet-like or layered. Okay, so these are layered flat clouds, essentially. They're right above fog in terms of their elevation. So, stratus clouds, okay, there's the sheet like, okay, and they're flat and they cover a lot of area, okay. So, think of them as layered or sheet like. Those are stratus clouds and they're low to the surface. Here are some pictures, okay. Notice they cover a lot of area, they're, they're huge and they're flat, okay. So, those are stratus clouds. All right, cumulus clouds resemble big fluffy cotton balls. Those are those ones that are appealing to the eye. They look very pretty, if you will. They have a flat base. This flat base is the temperature, is the dew point temperature here. As air rises, it cools and it hits that dew point temperature and we get condensation. So there are some cumulus clouds. 
okay? Big fluffy ones, right? With flat bases. Those are cumulus clouds. And then finally, way high up in our atmosphere, we have what are known as cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds have feathery appearance and are composed of ice crystals. That's right, not water, but ice crystals. They form it because they form so high up in our up in the uh, so high up in the sky that they are actually where it's cold you get ice so cirrus clouds are made of ice crystals okay so we have cirrus clouds cirrus clouds are a sign that bad weather may be on its way okay so they have that wispy appearance right and they're made of ice crystals so you can see okay their appearance there all right so what are the three types of clouds okay we got stratus, cumulus, and cirrus. Question on the left-hand side. Answer on the right-hand side. Okay. Uh, use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentences there. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay. The last thing I think we're going to talk about here is condensation nuclei. What the heck are condensation nuclei? Our atmosphere contains billions of particles of dust, pollen, ice, and other materials. We call these condensation nuclei that float through our air, and they essentially provide the seed needed for water vapor to condense on and make water droplets. Okay? Because water is sticky. It wants to stick to something. And condensation nuclei provide the surface for water to do this. So let's zoom in on a little piece of air here and zoom in and magnify it right here, okay? Water molecules are, so if we look at these little, we can say these are little pieces of dust, pollen, okay, whatever, okay? Water molecules are attracted to these condensation nuclei. So water molecules love to stick to it and we get condensation, a water droplet, okay? And we get, essentially, water droplets, cloud droplets, okay? So, it takes thousands of these tiny water droplets to make one rain droplet, if you recall. So, here's condensation nuclei, here's a cloud droplet, here's a rain droplet, for comparison. Okay, so condensation nuclei are small particles of dust, pollen, or salt. Water is attracted to these particles, and they provide the seed to make cloud droplets, and eventually rain. So, what are condensation nuclei? For your notes, question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. All right, so summarize, please, for 20 points, okay? Draw and label the three types of clouds for your notes, okay? And then try to determine which words best complete the sentences there. And you're finished. Go ahead and pause this while you write, and we'll see you next time.